uh, a warm welcome to everybody. We have with us one of our very good students, Dr. Shivakami. She is from Tbilisi State Medical University, Tartia, and she had cleared her in the January 23 in her first attempt and uh, with really good and uh, amazing marks. What were the total marks, Dr. Shivakami? That you I got 219. 219. And this was your first attempt, right? It was my first attempt. Really, really nice. And we are all very proud and happy about you. Dr. Shivakami, please introduce yourself, which place you come from and uh, you know when did you graduate? Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Shivakami Selvi. So I basically did my schooling in Dubai, but I'm from India, Tamil Nadu. And uh, after finishing my schooling, I, uh, you know, I did my NEET. And uh, after that, I saw this as an option, like, you know, it was a backup option to move to Georgia, but in, it ended up being my, uh, you know, main option after that. And uh, uh, how was your uh, journey? I mean, starting from your undergraduate to going to Georgia, especially coming from Dubai and then the shift over to Chennai and uh, coming back to Georgia. Was it a smooth transition or you had a lot of uh, hiccups through the journey? Okay, so it it was a very what to say it was a very unpredictable journey because uh, in Dubai things were not as competitive as things are in India and all that. So in in my school I was quite a bright student and all, and I didn't really prepare for NEET. That was the truth. I didn't know how serious this exam was and all that until I came back to India. So mm -hmm. when I came back to India, I didn't go for any uh, coaching as such. So there was this crash course, which I tried to attend when I was in Dubai, but it, it was not working out for me uh, because when I was solving the question papers itself, I was getting very tense because that was not something that I signed up for. And then when I came back to India, I just went and I gave uh, NEET. At that time, all the other exams that I had applied for got cancelled. So NEET was the only thing and I gave that. Uh, so I was not hoping to clear NEET. But I actually ended up clearing me before which I took my admission in uh, uh, Georgia. But after moving to Georgia, I think um, it was a bit more comfortable for me over there because more than being in India, it was easier for me to get things done in Georgia because it was almost like how things are in Dubai. Were you, this was your aspirations to go forward or was it your family that asked you to pursue this dream of a, a medical career? Okay, so it was actually my plan to go for medicine. Nobody really pushed me to do it or anything like that. So for me, it was always like, you know, I should do something different from what everybody's done. So nobody had done MBBS in my family. So I just wanted to do MBBS. That was the main thing. But I really love biology. That was the main thing. I didn't want physics and chemistry to come back. <laughs> but it ended up coming anyway. So I didn't know that and I chose medicine. <laughs> Really happy that you know you you went in for your dreams and today you are a licensed doctor in India and uh, must be a very happy and proud moment for your family to get the first doctor in their family and really really happy and proud of you, Dr. Shivagami. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, Shivagami, what was your experience in uh, the university there? What were your academics like? Were you preparing in the uh, you know for a licensing preparation during your university days, or were you concentrating on the university exams there? For the first year, I was a little serious. And then second year, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> and then third year onwards is when I got serious about the licensing exam. So initially, I was just preparing for my university exams and everything. I was not particularly preparing for my licensing exam, even though I used to attend the classes which Arise used to uh, hold back in the university, like they used to come down to teach us. So I made sure that I attended all those classes. And after that, uh, I think in my final year or something, I was a little more serious about it. And mostly after graduating is when I sat down to study for the exam as such. But apart from that, I was mostly preparing for university exams and just doing the subject. Yeah. Was the preparation uh, equally uh, intense as, as expected or was it okay? Actually, I mean, you managed it in a very easy way or was it actually so intense, the whole preparation and the whole uh, journey? So I would say that it was not very intense. Because I started from a very, uh, you know, I started much earlier. So it was a little more easier for me. And I was more convenient because I got used to attending these classes for long hours when I was in the university itself. So after coming back, it was just like as soon as I got back, it, I think classes began in the first week of July. So I landed on June, 20, uh, June 30th and July 1st, the classes began. So I just started attending and it, it was it was just like I just got out of school and I just started attending again. So okay. it was it was pretty much fine. But I think towards the end, it, it did become hectic because 
of the time for revision and all that became a bit more intense and that's when it got intense but i would say it was not that uh, difficult to manage it was a doable thing so i understand that you know you had uh, started with a rise from your foundation days basically in your final year university days and uh, that gave you an advantage of an early start right and uh, chugami uh, what was your exam strategy like your preparation strategy like was it based solely on arise uh, teachers and faculties or you used multiple sources during your preparation my only source was arise okay i did not have any other subscriptions or anything like that but mm. uh, mostly all my notes were from arise okay i i just followed the subjects timetable everything was from arise and what was your preparation like more of theory based or were you concentrating on the lecture and the theory more or was it more of mcq based or more of uh, pyq based i can divide it into two parts that is the first half of my preparation was just theory based like it was mostly theory and uh, whatever subject wise tests we had i used to do that but apart from that i didn't see much of questions and uh, towards the end i started solving more questions and taking more tests so i did a mix of both but mostly i concentrated on theory because the way the questions are asked in the exams are not going to be the same as these questions so i wanted to make sure that my base was a little stronger Mm. So that's what I did. <laughs> and how was your journey with the academics and different teachers that you must have interacted with you throughout the preparation, right? So a lot of uh, faculties that you have interacted with. How was your experience with the you know teachers? Because these are long classes. Were you you know happy with the kind of schedule and the kind of classes that were delivered to you? Okay, so for, uh, I was I was really happy with everything. Mm. That you know with each and every professor, you have to go through a different mode. it's not going to be the same speed it's not going to be the same uh, way of teaching and everything but there was a very good transition i would say because after each subject you will have a small break and then you just get ready for something new so that was my kind of attitude it was not to get used to one person or anything like that but pretty much you know we had that period to get to know uh, some professors and all that so i was pretty much comfortable with most of them i i i could say that not most of them all of them you know uh, the way they teach and everything because they don't really teach you about each like it's not like pyqs that they teach they actually teach you the theory so it's very easy to follow and understand okay and uh, any special mentions uh, shivagam anybody you really enjoyed listening to or you know any special mentions from your side okay that is a very difficult question sir i would have to list all the 19 teachers <laughs> and even more i would say because there were a lot who came for just the rapid revision part but uh like i really loved uh, surgery classes sandeep sir's classes i really like them and obsen guy you know everybody really likes how the a it is done and apart from that i really want to mention about short subjects all the short subjects i would say it was the, just attending the classes were more than enough because towards the end revising those subjects became very difficult um, we didn't have time for that so off tal and all it was purely based on mams classes so those things and ent also and rajiv davan sir came towards the end and he took that one uh, revision session that was more than enough and your classes obviously because your classes are not just about radiology you you tend to you know incorporate all the subjects so that was also very very helpful for me and no shivagami uh, was your uh, test and discussion schedule useful to you i mean to approach the questions what 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 insight did you develop by listening listening to the test and discussion part okay so test and discussion i would say is like the most important part because it is not just about giving the test but it is also you know you develop a habit of finishing that subject at that time it's like a deadline for us to finish so i had a time table in which i used to you know i had a tabular column where i attended so many tests uh, t1 t2 r1 r2 like that i had so many columns marked over there so when it came to test and discussion that was like the deadline for me i had to finish that subject by then so it, it didn't matter if i scored very high in that test or not all that mattered was i i went ahead and did it and uh, more than the test i did enjoy the discussion part of it because they don't just teach you about the uh, 50 or 100 questions that you do but it is about the all all the four options why it was wrong and all that and i think that is really really important and it did help me so much okay and did you follow the schedule was it easy to follow or were you lagging in your preparation in your schedule with the arise schedule so to be honest i created my own schedule side by side when arise gave me a schedule but i understood that it didn't work for me my schedule 
it was very difficult to follow because i could you know take a step back and tell myself that i will do this tomorrow but when it comes with arise it is not like that these are classes that once you miss you will not be able to attend them again even though there are recorded sessions you don't get the time to sit sit and view these classes so i would say the schedule is very very important to you know follow that schedule it is like somebody is watching you you know that they they are taking care of the subject for you so i would say that the schedule is what kept me on track so it's important to align your schedule with whatever is happening with the classes rather than having parallel schedules and you know getting haywire in the process okay and uh, shilka me uh, towards the end of the ex- ex- the whole preparation we had done this uh, fast track revisions and quick revision programs for uh, the online batch students also i mean were you part of it actively and was it uh, productive for you Yes, sir. So uh, the end of the session, as in after, uh, I would say after the exams date got postponed, we had a lot of breaks. So mm-hmm. at that time, it was very difficult for me to keep in track with it. But mostly, I attended all the sessions. There were just very few sessions that I skipped. And if I skipped those sessions, I would make sure that I was revising some other subject mm-hmm. and not leaving that subject as such. And uh, what about the uh, quick revision program? Did you take part in the quick revision program that was done? Yes, sir. Uh, by Priyansh, sir. So yeah. I I didn't take part in that, and I had messaged him also after the exam, saying that you know, like from my two and nine, a uh, majority of my marks belongs to you because <laughs> <laughs> those those three days were I would say that was very much required mm-hmm. because towards the end of the exam it becomes very hectic that you know everything is just bouncing over your head. Mm-hmm. But he made sure that you know these are the important concepts and you have to go through it. And I did go through it before my exam, as he said. It was not exactly like the way he said, but it did help me a lot. What about your GT scores? Were you doing well? I mean, you said you you tried GTs from Arise and also other platforms and all. Were you doing equally good in all? And were you expecting two hundred when you were going to the exam? I was not like expecting two hundred, but uh, deep down, I wanted about two hundred. Nice. because you know you put in a lot of effort it's not just about passing the exam it's also about showing the people that you know you have done yes. something <laughs> so especially with my family because they really have high hopes about me so i i wanted a good score even when i got 2 and 9 my mom was like only 2 and 9 so <laughs> i cleared all my gts i always got 150 plus So my first GT, I got around one, uh, one eighty nine something like that, mm-hmm. and then I used to get plus or minus ten, mm-hmm. and that always depended upon the way I, uh, you know, did the previous night. So mm-hmm. if I didn't sleep properly and all, my marks used to go down. Mm-hmm. So I understood that it was more or less, it more or less got to do with me and not the way I'm preparing. So I knew I would clear the exam. A one fifty plus was a sure thing, but two hundred plus, I wanted it. It was a desire, mm. but it's not like I was expecting it. <laughs> nice. And you tell told a very important point, Shogami, that you know during your GTS the day the night before how you were they decided your scores plus or minus you know ten or twenty marks. Uh, did you make that conscious effort to be calm deep during the main day, main exam day? Yes, sir. Uh, that was um, that was something I was telling myself so much. So what happened was, uh, I came back from I was in Dubai during my preparation, and then I just came back ten days in advance. Mm-hmm. So when I came back, there was a lot of changes, and everything was going a- a- around me. Things were moving so fast, but I made sure that I stayed calm. The main thing for me was not to fall sick. and the second thing was to stay calm so i was in a very very calm mood and cheerful mood it's not like i i i did have a little bit of you know the anxiety and everything was going on but i did not show it on my face or anything for me it was important that i maintained a cool and calm mindset for going to the exam because i used to watch a lot of videos about how people you know took their exams and all that so it it gave me an idea how important it was and even during my exam day that was my plus i would say that was my strength because on that day also i went in a very calm manner throughout the exam i didn't talk to people or anything i was just very calm and cool and after the exam got over is when you know i started thinking if everything would be fine and all and uh, how was the exam uh, shivagami like what was the difference in this uh, exam compared to the previous exams and were it similar to the gts or did you find gts more difficult or what did you feel about this exam specifically Okay, so about the exam, the exam was exam. I mean, it was totally opposite than what I expected. 
No you issue. give a lot of GTS, and you, uh, you know, you think that the exam is going to be very, very difficult, and all that. So you, you hear a lot of things from any, everyone. So I was also preparing for that. And in Arise, they always tell you that you are preparing for the worst exam. Okay, mm. so just make sure you are doing it that way. But when it came to the exam, I would say the language of the exam was very different from all the GTS and whatever PYQs that we had. The language was different, mm -hmm. but the content and everything I would say is mostly the it's it's the same. The base is the same. Just the catch point is what matters. You pick that up and it's fine. Mm. So it's basically important to practice a lot of questions from different sources also at the same time you know you can stick to one source of your primary source of preparation and keep doing a lot of questions uh, from different practice sources yes and uh, Zyugami, uh what was uh what would your advice be so you got a really good score a lot of students would be aspiring looking at you today and then a lot of inspiration that would give to a lot of you remember a lot of students know you in tsmu you have been you know very involved uh, with the university programs and stuff a lot of students must be listening to you. What would your suggestion be and somebody who would really want to score something as good as you have achieved? 219 in the first attempt is you know, in such a you know crucial exam. It's a, it's a very, very inspiring for a lot of students there. What was your, you know, what would your advice be to them? Okay, so uh, I really want to tell this one thing that is don't form your idea about the exam based on what people tell you. So mostly I see even in my batch, there were a few people who did not take the exam because they thought they wouldn't clear it. So like uh, they, right. they tend to postpone the exam. So don't do that. Like always believe in what you are doing. Don't think about how difficult or easy the exam is going to be. Just make sure you do your subjects well. Don't expect an easy paper or a difficult paper. It is going to be a doable paper for sure. So just go with that mindset, prepare for your exam. Just know that it's going to be fine. And if you, if you know the subject, there's it's like nobody can stop you. You're, you're definitely going to make it. I think some very important words, do not try to look for escaping the exam or escaping the pressures of, you know, getting to know the subject. It's important that you get your basics and concepts right. And it's a very, very doable exam. Really, really important words. So you're coming and, uh, what are the future plans you coming and uh, you know what is the uh, way ahead now uh, so i obviously i want to do pg but right now everything seems very uh, confusing but i will do need pg or i will look at some other licensing exams for sure okay. nice. we wish you all the best uh, jokshikami you've got amazing scores with this kind of confidence you can really crack up different exams i really want you to focus for a couple of years and get into your dream branch and uh, you deserve all the success and all the we have seen your effort throughout your college days and we are really proud of what you have achieved today and uh, it's it's really nice talking to you dr shikami wishing you a great and a bright future ahead okay thank, thank you so much for interacting with all of us thank you, sir. Thank you so much thank you. god bless